Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. Got season house and I've got a patriotic shirt on. I am almost positive this is my patriotic season house box. If it isn't, this is gonna be real awkward. Full spoilers for this box. It is a, not monthly, I guess it's a monthly subscription, but it's based on seasons. All of the decor that comes in this box is based on a season, or like in this case, I'm hoping it's a holiday, patriotic July 4th. It's $79.99 per box, and they do offer prepaid discounts, meaning if you agree to buy three boxes or six boxes, the price per box comes down. Shipping is only $5 in the US, and if you use the code TPE save 10, you get $10 off your first box. So, one of my favorite boxes. I love thematic decor, seasonal decor, any reason to put a meaning behind decorating, I'm in. Whether it's decorating the house or decorating myself. I even went all out and bought us all matching swimmies for the 4th of July. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll post that video up here if you're gonna go watch that. Super cute, super fun. Everybody always cracks up when we show up because we look absolutely ridiculous and it's an absolute blast. This box begins shipping June 10th. You can skip holidays, you do not celebrate. So let's say you're like, yeah, I don't do a lot for St. Patrick's, it's just not something I do. You can let them know and skip past that box. Each box has a style guide and four to six items inside. Ooh, let me tell y'all a random fact I learned while I was at Sub Summit. Y'all see this tape, like this tape right here? A lot of our boxes have it. It has like their logo on it, it's really, really pretty. It, is it like a paper type tape that is not sticky until you stick it in water? Then once you stick it in water, you put it on and it dries as a glue that sticks together. I had no idea. When you pull it off like, like this, it's just, it literally looks like paper. And I've asked finally, like, how does that work? When you pull it off, it's not sticky like tape. And everybody explained it to me. So yeah, I learned a lot about this really weird tape that I love um, on so many of our subscriptions. This is what I see on top when I open it. Here is a thank you card with information on how to connect with them. The QR code, which is a guide to the box. This right here is something I am very, very happy about. I am one of those people, and after talking to you guys, I realized y'all are too, that likes to have a breakout of what's in the box. A, if something's missing, you don't know it unless you have a breakout. B, it also includes style tips and tricks, which is really nice to kind of get out of your own head. Somebody else to lean in and say, have you thought about this? Have you tried this? Especially as a curator who designed the box to say, this is why I curated this and this is what you can do with it. So naturally, I want to scan it. Ooh, maybe this isn't the patriotic box. So they shipped this box to me early, right? So that I can create this for you. This has the guide for the summer 23 when I scan it, but it could be just because I got my box early. Now it's like the mystery is real. <laughs> the mystery is real. Okay, hold on. Either way, I just saw a sneak peek of the summer box. So cute. Oh, I see a flag. No, it's the Patriotic box. I really wanted it to be the Patriotic box. So I'm just getting too early once again because I get my box early so that we could do this together. But just looking at it here, it really is cute. It breaks out the palette of like the colors, each of the items that are at the in the box. Um, really, really cute. I'm glad that they're doing this. Okay. I'm just going to pull them out as I see it. We have a decorative cloth. So we've discussed this before. I went through this like whole phase where I was like, I'm going to start using these. I don't want to have cloths in the house that I can't use. Listen, they don't work. <laughs> they like legitimately don't work. If you're looking for a great cloth, like dish cloth that can handle pets, kids, and just everyday life, we're testing out a bunch of them right now. Geometry is great, I'll link it below. And Cray is a subscription, it's great, I'll link it below. Get those and they have them, like you can go to Cray and get ones that match this flag right here so that these coordinate. Use those for everyday. Decorate with these. 
enjoy these. When they finally do get dirty, wash them delicate, hang dry and iron them and they come back out looking just like this. These are beautiful to drape on the edge of a sink uh, like if you're having a display with like different things. So once again, it's okay if they get dirty, but they don't like mop up water. Does that make sense? So like I would put this, like let's pretend like this is a soap dispenser. I put a soap dispenser here and this is a sponge and a sponge here. So everybody who grabs the sponge and the soap, the soap will drip down here. It won't drip all over the counter. And then when I'm ready, I just wash this. Or you can hang it on your stove, which is a, right, a, or your microwave is a stereotypical place to hang these. Tear trays, these drape on tear trays really, really well. But I have officially decided from now on when I get these gorgeous cloths I am not going to attempt to use them because because you know it's like not meant to work work it's supposed to just sit there and look pretty oh oh okay look see the cloth they sent us the flowers from the cloth excellent touch once again, it goes back to that like coordinating but not matching. Do I want everything to match? Goodness gracious, no. But do I love the fact that this is reinstating a thought process by having this hydrangea here and this hydrangea here? A hundred percent, yes. Now, so don't judge these guys. They were packed and they are smushed. It is three hydrangea stems that just need to get a little, a little fluffy, fluffy happening here already and just pulling with my fingers like this, they are starting to come to life. Three separate stems, they are blue hydrangeas. I'm gonna put the quality as good. They're not like, whoa, amazing, outstanding. They're just, they're not, but they're good quality. If you like draped them on a tiered tray, can y'all see here? They are pretty. Uh, if you put them, you could put them outdoors. Like if you put them in a vase. Y'all seen me open greenery before where I was like, there's no way. I'm putting this in my house. Like there's no way I won't absolutely will not have it in my house. Nothing like that. But I also, you know, we have some pretty high quality greenery that comes in. So I like to rank these things mid quality, great for what it's going to do. Great for being in a vase, great for being in a tear tray, great for laying on its side and would be great mixed into a bouquet. Basket. I wonder if this can go in the basket just like this. That's cute. Okay, let's see if I can make it happen. Oh, and there's something else inside the basket. It's gonna set these right here. We'll look at those in a second. Cute basket, very, very cute basket. Great woven detail, uh, perfectly imperfect. Oh, it does have a tassel. The tassel was inside. So what I'm wondering is, I don't have clippers in here. What kind of bend them, I wonder? Do they have wired? Eh. Eh, well, they might bend, maybe. I'm also not above clipping. I will clip in a heartbeat. Although if we can bend it out just right, we might be able to create legs for it to stand up on. That's, that would be nice. Okay, let's see. Can I create legs for this to stand up on to recreate the basket that's on our cloth? Look at me, I'm like determined now. Ah, I think I'm gonna have to cut them just a bit. So here they are now. Once again, I've got them bent not per like they're bent like all kind of wonky probably would be better just to cut them but you can see where i'm going that if we cut them down and put them in here this would be so cute so so cute i want them like like all the way down okay let's finish opening then we're going to go get the clippers and we're going to get to clipping because i want to set this up now i start decorating for july 4th stuff like mid-June. So it's about time for me to start mapping out things because in the next week or so, I'll be putting all the 4th of July stuff out because my birthday's on July 7th. And so I usually just make it like this one really long red, white, and blue event. Oh, it's two different things. This is like made of wood, it seems like. What does it say? USA, once again, here I go. Can we put it on here? Oh my gosh, that would be cute. Okay, we're gonna hack all this. We're gonna go there. We have to, I have to see it. Then we have a little metal flag. It looks like this. Okay, so we totally could incorporate that on here somewhere, 
but also I'm kind of thinking that'd be stinking cute on my tear tray that I'm working on. I haven't finally mapped out the design and all the flag stuff that I have are like literal flags and I love that this is a, it is a literal flag, but it isn't like a literal flag, you know what I mean? And then there's another big item in here that we've got to get out, then we'll start playing. You're a grand old flag. Dear Summer, I love you. Oh my gosh, I love this. So it is summer decor. So like right now, I'm not quite decorating for red, white, and blue yet. I have all my lemons out. I have everything that is yellow is out. So I would have this hanging or sitting. It does both. And then when I'm ready to swap over, boom, we swap over and we are patriotic. I love double-sided items because even if you sat this let's say you sit this on a sofa bag or you sit this on the bar in the kitchen that spans two rooms it's still pretty from both sides which is a huge bonus okay i don't have their style guide so i'm going to create my own style guide i want to cut these down to recreate this look and i'm going to go grab two flags because i think that would be super super cute give me just a sec okay i am armed with two flags I will link these flags below. Um, I am a firm believer if we are going to order flags, they need to be American flags made in America. So it's not that big of a price difference. The quality is way better. So I will link those down below for those interested. I do want to do a little trimmy trimmy on these to see what we can come up with. Wanting it to be, I mean, pretty much just spilling out just like this. Not much of a difference than we're seeing here. So I'm going to cut them down above this first notch. Let's just see what happens. Oh, they're not wired, so they're really easy to cut with wire cutters. Okay, that's pretty short. Ooh, I want to go more. Let me go more. just below that second notch, that little one right there. Cut that guy a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's it, dude, that is it right there. Okay, so I definitely want to put this little banner on here. I'm thinking I'm gonna set this either on my sofa back, which is between the entry of my home on the back of my sofa uh, between my entry and my living room. So I'm thinking this is gonna go there with a the display I already have and I've been working on. Um, but if not, it can also go on the entryway on that gray piece that I have. And it also could go next to my tiered tray. And that would be really cute sitting next to the tiered tray. I think it's the absolute perfect length to just easily tie around the top. I'm going to try it right here. If it does, I'll show you guys. Easy breezy. I literally left the tassel back there, tied just a knot, and this sits like this. And I think it looks very similar to this right here. I like it better with the USA around it. So that might be cute to go... Um, by the tiered tray in the kitchen. That would be a really cute setup. I need a bigger island. <laughs> we have this little bitty island and I'm constantly putting more and more things on it. My husband's like, we need space for food, like actual real living. And I'm like, decor is real living. Ah, yes. So to get literal, let's see if we can just stick some flags in here real quick to recreate this look. Okay, there's this guy which I probably should, could prop these up a little bit better with some time. And here's this. That's cute. Like all of this is so cute. We still have this guy, which he could be added in here somewhere. Like he could hang in here somewhere and like make this design extra. Or I, I think I'm gonna add him to my tier tray. But just for giggles, for those of you who may not have a tier tray and you're like, no, I like to get my boxes and I'd like them to be one-stop shop decorating. Here's what I do. Grab a few petals, pull the petals through that top metal ring and leave it just like that. I mean, it is 360 cute. There's not a side that isn't cute. Now, if you wanted to balance it out more, like you feel like maybe there's too much up front, you could take this off right here, 
come around back here where this knot is tied and do the same thing. Just grab a few blooms, pull them through and have it hang right there to help cover your knot and add an accent to the back so you still have a great 360 view. And then you put this guy there and you can put this, I mean, once again, you could one-stop shop it and put all of these together or you could spread them out. So tell me, comment below. So we're still playing the YouTube game where we're trying to tell YouTube, hi, like we're here, we love being here and I know we're not releasing seven videos a week, which would, I just can't imagine y'all. But uh, commenting, we're commenting to try to get YouTube to be like, hey, we're here and we're happy to be here. Love on us, don't block our videos or suppress them or squash them or whatever. So comment and tell me, when you get boxes like this, do you like it to be able to spread throughout your house and use a little bit of each item everywhere? Or do you like the one stop shop? Like it is important to you that when you pull the items out of the box that they tell you how to decorate with them and you have one place or maybe two places that you set the items very cohesively and you're done. I would love to know that. I do both, but I love to decorate. My sister does not love to decorate. So she is the, first, the latter. She wants to pull it out, set it down, it'd be gorgeous, and she just walks off and goes, saving her time, saving her money, and giving her a great curation. I'm both, what are you? Comment below and let us know. Okay, what is today? Today is the seventh. This box starts shipping the 10th. So basically, if you wanna get it nice and snappy, you're gonna to wanna to order it right now. If you're brand new, go grab that coupon code. Save some money, it's a great coupon code. Uh, if you've already been a subscriber, the coupon code will not work for you, but you can still hop on and join us. It's really fun whenever we all subscribe to the boxes together, then we can start layering and creating with past boxes and the future boxes we're getting, and it really creates these like super cool designs. So, hop on and order this if you're loving the vibe here. We do have a uh, summer decorate with me coming. I needed to get back from that subscription box conference, catch my breath, catch up on videos. And then I want to do not only our summer decorate with me, but the official tour of the Pink Envelope Playhouse. That is, I have not forgotten. I originally had like paused because I need to touch up some paint and I need to put up trim. Like those were the only two things I needed to do. And although I have not touched up the paint and I have not added the trim, I think I could show you guys and just be like, yeah, oh, that's, I'm gonna get to that. Or maybe this is the push I need to get it done. Either way, I really wanna show it to you guys. And it's just, the amount of home decor that comes through my office is vast. And we've talked about how to store your stuff. And you can go watch that video up here. That This is how I've stored things literally up until now for years and years and years. And I still actually do store 50% of my home decor like I showed you in that video in Tupperware bins. Um, but with my amazing job. I have a whole, 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 whole lot of decor. Uh, we had to add the Pink Envelope Playhouse, so more on that coming soon. Season house. I mean, look, I'm ready. You even did a USA flag and I did a USA shirt. I love it. We are gonna be playing, decorating on Instagram. Like, we've already started, so head over there if you want to see, like, instant gratification. You also can go to the Home Decor playlist where you can look at Home Decor how to's and decorate with me's for the past two or three years. Those are great to reference. All right, you guys, I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all. Oh my gosh, okay, so I was photographing this after I do unboxings. I photograph the products and I go put them on the Pink Envelope website, which is thepinkenvelope.com. So if you're ever wanting to just hop on there, you can flip through photos, all of the links, info on the boxes. There's usually more info because YouTube limits how much I can type in the description. Anyways, I was photographing this and realized once you're done with the 4th of July stuff, just take those down, put it in your 4th of July or patriotic bin and flip your sign, right? So you just literally flip it around and you have gorgeous everyday decor. I mean, this is fabulous. And if you wanted this to be more oomph, you could totally go get yellow stems to put in here and some green greenery to put in and create a big voluptuous type bouquet with this guy here because you have plenty of space, plenty of space to add stuff in here. 
So I had to come back and be like, um, great everyday decor as well.